this Monday, some chilly air settling in behind the fresh snow, but it was really cold in northern Minnesota yesterday. Uh, 43 degrees below zero in Ash Lake International Falls, uh, back in the low 40s below zero. So while we have seen our coldest temperatures definitely warm up here in the southern part of the state, winter still hangs on to the north, uh, but that's good emerald ash borer and pine bark beetle killing weather. Uh, another cool phenomenon seen out of North Dakota over the weekend, a snow devil. Yeah, basically any upward motion in the atmosphere can produce uh, one of these brief little spin-ups. Uh, and of course, the more open it is, like North Dakota and flatter, uh, a lot easier for that to happen. Didn't pick up a lot of snow here, just about an inch for most spots. The airport officially 1.1, uh, but anywhere from a half inch to as much as a couple of inches of snow in some spots. But with the cold temperatures, it did make for some slick roads earlier this morning, uh, we had dropped, once the skies cleared out, we dropped from about nine to three degrees. And where it cleared out earlier, northern Minnesota was in the teens and 20s below zero earlier this morning. So uh, cold high pressure overhead today, it's gonna be moving across the state from northwest to southeast, keeping winds flowing out of the north today as uh, that air moves clockwise around high pressure. But tomorrow we get on the backside of this high, that's gonna allow uh, south winds to develop and that'll push in some warmer temperatures. But just teens for highs here in the southern part of the state today, a little warmer in the southwestern corner where they, again, still don't have snow there. Uh, and then northern Minnesota, probably single digits, cold night tonight, North of the Twin Cities, sub-zero. We should stay above zero in the single digits here uh, for lows early Tuesday morning. And then again, as I mentioned, as that high moves east, winds not only shift out of the south, but it will increase. So that warmer air will come flowing in behind that high pressure. That means tomorrow temperature should be close to freezing or 30 degrees, maybe some low 40s in the southwest corner. Uh, still 20s for the most part in northern Minnesota, and this is going to be pretty brief. We'll be mild into the overnight tomorrow night but then colder air uh, already moves and we're gonna see a familiar pattern here of falling temperatures Wednesday at that high in the morning. So there goes the warmth of tomorrow and tomorrow night uh, to be replaced by some cold air. And again, the timing is gonna be such that the cold and the moisture collide south of us. And that's where we're gonna see another big storm similar to a couple weeks ago, uh, but from Kansas through Missouri, maybe southeastern Iowa, Illinois, a swath of heavy snow on the cold side of that storm system, but also looking at the potential for more ice in some of the same areas that saw it before, not quite as far south, uh, not quite into Texas, but there are gonna be some areas in Missouri, uh, Illinois, and then through maybe Indiana and Ohio that could be dealing with some ice accumulation. This is on Thursday, and then that storm system will continue to the Northeast where, of course, it'll make headlines whenever a storm hits there. It makes uh, bigger news. And then we're gonna see warmer air move back in for the weekend. Uh, temperature anomalies are gonna be back in the warmer territory by the weekend and into early next week, maybe even a 40 degree reading, uh, but it looks like 30s anyway, already by Friday. So pretty brief shot of some cold. This is the Canadian model for next Monday, 45 degrees. Couple of models do have us uh, around 40 one of those days in the early part of next week. So it does look like some milder temperatures move in. Today though, you know, the normal high now is 28, so 13 degrees colder than normal. Tomorrow, uh, more seasonable, again, milder, 30 degrees. We'll probably be around 30 early Wednesday, and then the temperatures drop through the day. Uh, we'll see sunshine, cold sun on Thursday, high of 13. And again, a big storm well to our south. Maybe some light snow showers here Friday. It looks like a pretty minor event, kind of similar maybe to what last night, maybe a half inch for some spots. And then uh, again, temperatures should stay seasonable through the weekend with maybe that warmer push of air early next week. Hey everyone, meteorologist Sven Sungard here. Please be sure to like this video, also subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this with others.